Hey guys, it's TJ and today I'm going to be talking about three things uh, that could be the culprit as to why you are breaking out. So if you're interested in seeing what those three things are, please keep on watching. So the very first thing that could be breaking our faces up, first of all, let me say this. I've been breaking out a lot lately, right along, you know, my jawline and cheek area, and I just really couldn't figure it out. Um, so I decided to kind of track some of the things that I do on a daily basis, uh, the food I was eating, um, just to try to figure out what the heck was going on. So the first thing I discovered is that I don't clean off my cell phone enough so you know those of us who don't really use earphones like myself we're holding up our phone and i'll be darned if this is not the area that i was breaking out in like every other day i had a new pimple i would get rid of one and here's another one so what you need to do is keep some handy clorox wipes or handy wipes is that what they're called handy wipes just in your purse because we put our cell phones down on nasty counters, we put them in our back pockets, you know, we touch money, and then we have our phones in our hands at all times. So make sure that every single day you are taking a Clorox wipe and wiping down your phone. So let me go ahead and do that now. Just like so. Just to get it sanitized and to kill any germs and uh, bacteria that may be on your phone. All nice and clean now. So the next reason, and I know this isn't going to be hugely popular amongst, you know, the folk, but a lot of us aren't getting enough water, and that is just the simple reality of it all. We should all be drinking at least half of our body weight in ounces of water every single day. So for instance, if you are 200 pounds, you need to be drinking at least 100 ounces of water every day. And if you don't, um, the results could be breakout. So make sure that you are drinking plenty of water every single day. Voila! And reason number three. I don't think we really think about this either. Did you know that we are supposed to replace our pillows every six months and wash them at least every two months? I say every month. But yeah, if your pillows are more than one year old, you're losing a life. So definitely go ahead and pick up some new pillows. I have this one. This one is from uh, or by Ralph Lauren. I freaking love this pillow. I picked two of these up a few months ago or so and I just actually started using them. They have been sitting in my closet all this time still in the plastic. Uh, but you definitely want to pick up some pillows. They're not very expensive. I think I got these for... I think they were $17 each. So that really isn't bad. And this is a very thick... Well, it's not as thick as it was because I've been using it for a couple of weeks. But it's a really good pillow. Whole point is make sure you are washing your pillows once a month and replacing them every six months but i definitely say every few months if need be so that's it guys this is a very quick video um just to share with you all a few reasons that you actually may be breaking out so uh if you know of other reasons that we could be breaking out on a regular basis please put them down below subscribe thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and share it with a friend and as always i will see you in the next one Bye.